What is up guys, in today's video we're going to be going over how we can create a tab view in iOS using Xcode and Swift and it's very similar to the navigation view that you have in Android but it's going to look like this, it's going to have three different screens or as many screens as you want and when we click on these tabs it's going to change between these views and of course you can customize these emojis down here to display what you want them to display. Maybe you want to show some messages, maybe you want to show some favorites, that is up to you. So in this video I'm just going to show you real quick how we can set this up so you can customize it by yourself. Now the first thing we have to do is go ahead and hold shift command plus n to create a new project. We will click on app, click on next and we will give it a product name which we can just call nav bar tutorial and of course you can change this to whatever you like or you can just add it to an existing project. We're going to be using Swift UI and Swift as the language. Then we will click on next. Then make sure to specify a location for your project and click on create. And the first thing we will do inside here is close this sidebar and change this to an iPhone 13. We will make this preview screen a bit smaller and we will resume it so we can see that the program is actually working. Now the first thing we're going to do is create the views. So to do this first we're going to create a group. So hold down option plus command plus n to create a new group and we're just going to name it views. And inside this folder we can just hold command plus n to create a new Swift UI view. So click here and click on next. And we're going to call this view A. And we're going to do it two more times for the other two views. So view B and view C. Just like that. So we're going to use these views to simulate different screens of course and we will get started by creating view A which is going to be a Z stack and we can click on resume here with a background color of red and we want to insert an image which is going to take a system name and phone.fill. Then we want to specify the foreground color to be color.white and we want to change the font dot system and edit the size to 100. So we get a nice icon that we can actually see. Now I do want to bring up that if you want to find out where you can find these icons you're going to have to go and search on Google for SF symbols and when you arrive to this page there's going to be a program that you can download and it's going to give you all of the names of all the icons that you can use in Xcode. So I've already gone ahead and done that that's why I know these names and if you want to use custom names yourself, go ahead and download that. I will leave a link in the description down below so that you can also download it and use those symbols. But this is the placeholder we're going to be using. So then we're going to go ahead and copy the Z stack and place it in view B, just like this and replace the text. We're going to go ahead and replace this to blue and we want to change this to person.2.fill. And then we'll go to view C paste it in once again, change this to green and change this to slider.horizontal.3. So these are the views we have now. Now we can go back to our content view and finish the app. So inside here the first thing we have to do is create a tab view. Then we can go ahead and refer to view A and add it as a tab item. And inside this tab item we need to specify the image and the text of the tab item. So first we will give it an icon of system name and we will provide phone.fill. Then we should go ahead and specify the text which will be set to calls. So as you can see it was simple as that to actually provide an icon at the bottom that we can actually tap on and use for our navigation. Now we can go ahead and copy this and paste it three times. We're going to change the second one to view B and the third one to view C. Then we need to go ahead and change this phone to person.2.fill and change it to contacts. And the final one is going to be slider.horizontal.fill and change this to settings. And actually this should be set to 3. And that's actually all it takes to create a bottom navigation bar if you want to add another view you just have to go ahead and add another tab item and also make sure to change the image and the text and just to insert a different view so that they can actually see a new screen. So it's that simple to add and remove these elements 
So now let's go ahead and run the program. And as soon as we run it, you're going to notice that we will land on the phone page and we can also go to contacts and settings. And it's going to switch between these views that, and it's going to switch between these views by navigation. Now I'm also going to show you a small feature that's available on iOS 15. And this is the dot badge count. We can go ahead and do 10. And it's going to give us an error because this syntax is only available for iOS 15 and above. So if you go ahead and click on this error, we can go ahead and use one of these suggestions to fix the error and then it will work. So here we will go ahead and use fix if available. And here it's going to check if iOS 15 is available, then we will use this badge system. Otherwise it's going to have to go to an earlier model. So if we go ahead and run the program once again, this time you're going to notice that we will have a cool badge on our icon on the navigation bar. But anyways, guys, that's actually all I wanted to show you in today's video. So with that being said, as always, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next iOS tutorial.